I'm gonna calm down. We're gonna- we're gonna read this like an adult. <laughs> ah! Huh? Hello everyone, it's Laffy Traffy. Hello and welcome to my reaction and review of One Piece chapter 1063, The Only Family I've Got. A sad, emotional chapter in the beginning, and then something else entirely... <laughs> <laughs> At the end, sit back and enjoy whatever this reaction is of this chapter because it's insane! Make sure you like the video if you like the chapter, if you like my reaction and review, and subscribe, of course! Also check me out on Twitter, Twitch, and Instagram for more One Piece anime and gaming content. But without further ado, let's talk about this chapter. Chapter 1063, The Only Family I've Got. The only family I've got. Chapter 1063. Now starting off of course, we have the cover page series where we saw a frozen landscape. Aokiji is the only one that we know who is capable of doing this. And now we see Cracker and Brulee are also taken out while Pudding has been kidnapped. Very interesting why Pudding would be kidnapped. Oh, what's her? Oh, what about the, it's the eye thing? What if, if it is the Blackbeard Pirates? Because Aokiji is supposedly, for whatever reason, working with them. If Aokiji stole Pudding because she could read the Poneglyphs, allegedly. We're not entirely sure. <laughs> but allegedly she can read the Poneglyphs, so I wonder if that's gonna come into play. <gasps> We're gonna get Sanji and Pudding action later on when they face off against the Straw Hats? Who knows? But that is the cover page of the Germa's series. So, whew, moving forward, we're picking up with Vegapunk, so I can calm down. I can calm down. I can calm down. Is this going to be good music? That's not good music. There we go. Make sure everything's good. Okay. Getting into the chapter proper. Phew, delish! A satisfying meal. <laughs> yes, I love the, the promise of Jewelry Bonnie and Luffy hanging out together because they are both gluttons. What's keeping everybody? I bet they'll all love the food machine, except maybe Sanji. Yeah, see, his, his work's been taken over by robots. It's disgusting, disgusting. This world's come to an end. You guys sure can eat. All four of you have bulging bellies. Mine was already like that. Look, <laughs> Jinbei! <laughs> Damn! Damn, Vegapunk! <laughs> Fat shaming Jinbei on the first page of the chapter? Sheesh! <laughs> woof, woof. <gasps> the recycler. Recycler. <laughs> it's a little dog. Well, I ought to get back to work. If I don't run riot, no one will. Huh? Run riot? Oh, there's a bunch of little automata. What? What are you doing? Already you're being bad. What kind of job is that? <laughs> Who are they? What is that? Ooh, sheesh! Look at that drip, Luffy. SSG action. I think it's safe to assume they're lab assistants of some kind. Ah, uh, this place seems seemed deserted a second ago. No! Stop getting things! No! No dryer sheets. Were they hiding because they weren't sure about us? Clipso! Hey, you have so many toys, please. <laughs> Ma'am! Isn't it a little hot for those outfits? No way, for real? Whoa, these clothes feel so light. They're nice and breezy too. Where did you get those? Hey, his shoes look sick. Got them Yeezys. Oh shit, Bonnie! Oh shit! <laughs> Here! Fashion. 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 <laughs> Nothing beats free clothes after a complimentary meal. Mine still feels sticky from all that seawater. It'd be nice to change. Style selection? How about a battle uniform? Hey, wait, I can undress myself! <laughs> Ooh, nice looking sick. Chop look stupid and Jinbei. Dad bod, dad bod, getting it. <laughs> dad vibe. 
These are like, these boots make me feel like I'm floating. They even have tropical styles. <laughs> these would make for perfect disguises, but it's probably too late for that. <laughs> it's so futuristic. Well, I'm off to find some weapons and deal with Vegapunk. Catch you later. Heads up! It's Kuma. Kuma? Is it just me? Or is... Or is he looking for us? Holy shit! Kuma stanced up! What the heck? Or is he looking for us? How does he know that? Police. That's horrifying. In that getup. With the big... Oh my god. Police. Let's get out of here. He's about to charge. And he jumps forward, going with the big laser beam. Oh no, body! Provisions and garments reported stolen. Thieves detected. <laughs> huh? That stuff wasn't free? Oh, body. Then why did it just pop out like that? Big explosion, getting everyone. Surely the damage he's causing is worse than what we did. Is he trying to kill us? That's a bit harsh for theft. We'll be toast if we don't fight back. Yeah, it's just self-defense. Then again, we are pirates. <laughs> Hostile hosts come with the territory. Either way, we've got no choice. He's coming at them again. Oh shit! Gum gum, he's going after the laser! Huh? Stop! Oh, Bonnie! Shit! Oh, come on, Bonnie. It's not... It's not your dad. No, don't do it. Are you... Oh my god! What the heck, Bonnie? Didn't you see his lasers? I'm gonna slug him! <laughs> beep, beep, beep. That's my father. He's... what? He's the only family I've got. Oh, please don't hurt... Oh my god. Oh, this is too traumatic! No! Oh, Jesus. Only family I've got. When you said your dad was turned into a cyborg, you were talking about Kuma? I'm begging you. Beep, beep. It's not him, though. Please don't hurt my daddy. Oh, the little flashback! You dummy, get out of there! Gotta save her! It's just a pacifista! Has she not seen the pacifistas before? Oh my god, is that the island exploding? Holy shit. That's insane. So did she not... See the pacifistas back on Sabaody? I remember her saying, like, I'll never forgive them about, like, Marine Ford and stuff like that, but, uh, okay. I don't know. I don't remember. But now we're moving on to something else! <laughs> okay. Okay. Ah! I saw it. I saw it. A certain scene in the new world! Zeh! Oh, it's. Ah! It's no good, Captain! Oh god, but he's in a submarine! No! <sighs> I'm gonna calm down. We're gonna, we're gonna read this like an adult. <laughs> no. It's no good, Captain! Ah! Huh? <laughs> I'm about to t change my sexuality! <laughs> What is that? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> it's getting hot in here. Shit. Oof. Okay. Prepare for battle and be quick about it. Uh, oh my god. Double D law. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be looking at chat. But I <laughs> oh, and Pepo. <laughs> Look how they've massacred my boy. <laughs> What is happening here? Who? Ivankov? That's the- What? Yeah, it was him. At first, he was normal. <laughs> I can't. I can't. What in the fuck? Oh my god. What are you doing? Stop. Stop. Another hit like that and the water pressure will crush us. Okay, let's start from the beginning. Let's let's surface. We won't be able to escape. Like, <laughs> or no, that is a I don't know if that's a girl version or <laughs> there's land northeast of here. 
Prepare for battle and be quick about it. <laughs> wow, Captain, you're so cute now. <laughs> Sachi and Penguin. Wait, but but Sachi's a girl too. Do you have a death wish? <laughs> Crap, we're sorry. It got me too. <laughs> Keep away from the infected. <laughs> They're all turning into girls. What? His power's contagious. They're hoping to disorient us. <laughs> Boo Boo looks. <laughs> hey, puppy, what are you doing? Stop. His power's contagious. <laughs> what? <laughs> With this forced gender flipping. Shit, man. I gotta. I gotta. Oh, hey! Thanks for the 10 berries! Thanks! Oh my god, this is a chapter, man! <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Oh my god. <laughs> I can't focus! Okay, it'll be fine though. Our clashes with the emperors taught me. Oh, she's hot! <laughs> the devil fruit powers can be countered if you use a great deal of hockey. Oh, <laughs> Captain, we've resurfaced. Arrgh! And he's back to him. Okay, okay. <laughs> I need a minute. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, there's so many things happening on the chapter. I need to look at one thing at a time or else I'm going to lose my actual mind. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's get him in there. Yep. Mm -hmm. I'm hiding the screen. Oh, he's managed to nullify the disease. What? Doc Q? Why is that? What? I'd expect no less from a pirate worth three billion. Oh shit, they're going on land? Oh god! Oh Jesus! <laughs> I'm gonna die with the case of the vipers. That's how diseases go. An antibody always comes along. And when one person finds a remedy, it's not long before everyone's cured. <coughs> it was entertaining though, right? I call this one the Malady Transformation Plague. I mean, uh, yes. Oh god. Of course we did. Is it Burgess? I'm gonna send you over to the island. The warp warp fruit. Oh god, they all have devil fruits! Oh, Jesus! Okay, sick sick fruit. Fair. Warp warp fruit. I don't like that at all. Oh god. There's so much happening. Okay, so he blips. Somebody's in the woods. Snap, snap. He looks. Wee! Ha -ha! My buff buff fruit pa Oh god, he did not need a buff buff fruit. Or the freaking best! Wee! <laughs> hey, Jesus, Burgess. Burgess, he's lifting a mountain! How'd he get in front of us? Oh no! Superhuman strength. Bizarre contagious... Contagions. Teleportation? These guys have hunted down some insane powers. No wonder their bounties keep rising. He's gonna crush us! Vroom! Ah! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> Christ, I can't take this! Long black beard. Zeha, it's been a while. What the hell is he riding on? Is that the horse? <laughs> Why didn't they warp him? It's been a while, hasn't it, Trafalgar? La. What do you want? When you kid in Straw Hat left Wano, I knew one of you would end up here. Nay, wheeze! <laughs> but I had no way of knowing which of you it would show. Oh, God. Commodore. Stronger says he's struggling to carry our weight. I'm struggling myself. <laughs> Stronger. Mythical horse horse. Zone fruit model Pegasus. Pegasus! With Big Mom and Kaido gone, the world's gonna turn on its head. Sounds fun, huh? <gasps> ah! Okay. <laughs> Breathe. Breathe. Oh wait. Oh, did I miss one? I did. I did miss one. What do you want? Is that? Is that any way to speak to a fellow member of the worst generation? I guess that happened before he said it. When you kid, blah blah. Kaido had one, didn't he? 
Just how? Oh, that's the end of the chapter! No! Just how many low poneglyph rubbings have you got? I'll be taking them off your hands. You took the words right out of my mouth. Let's settle this. Winner takes all! No! Oh my... Bitch! <laughs> what? That's not okay. You can't do this. You can't. is <laughs> black beard. But, oh, <laughs> baby. <laughs> I know, I know. It's a crazy, crazy chapter. That woman, Beppo, is a thing of my nightmares. <laughs> ah! That is a thing of my nightmares. Actual nightmares. Fucking Blackbeard flying in on a Pegasus. Sounds cool until you see it. <laughs> Oh my god, this sick ass horse. What am I supposed to do with that? Is this gonna continue next chapter? Right? Right? Oh, to my right! Uh -huh. <laughs> I swear if this fight gets off screen. I. <laughs> it's going to, isn't it? No, there's no way. There's no way we would do Maw Blackbeard like that, right? So did they all. So was his hockey. Which I did if I didn't know any better, I'd say that that looked like some Conqueror's hockey right there, but no, he was probably just exuding it, you know? Trying to get whatever devil fruit ability this was. I wonder how that works. What the heck? It was like, z there was some lightning right where the submarine was going down through. Could that have been? I mean, they were <coughs> underwater. Dog. Any of the members? If they're in a submarine, how did they get hit with a devil fruit ability? Oh my god, he's throwing rocks. They got the buff buff fruit, the warp warp. I feel like the Van Auger with a warp warp fruit. He just blips. And then we don't see Van Auger, so I'm curious if it's like Kuma's fruit? We have to see, because I'm just thinking for, the, for a sniper to have a warping fruit, a teleportation fruit, that's kind of broken. Doc Q with the sick sick fruit, of course. Why would they do that though? Why would it be a gender swap? No, no, I'm complaining, mind you. Let's make one thing perfectly clear. Uh huh. It's the whole damn crew! That's so bad! <laughs> That's so bad! Double teacher. <laughs> no. <laughs> Transfalker. <laughs> Double D water law. Oh my god, that was something. That was, um, something. See, and I, you know, I hate to say it. You hate to say it. But it's just law <laughs> versus everyone. That's what hurts. <laughs> and we're all thinking it. What the fuck is a single hearts pirate gonna do against any one of Blackbeard's commanders? Drake? Maybe Smoker? Oh man, yes, if we can have, if, <laughs> if there's any time I want some random ass Deus Ex Machina, I want it now and quickly. Cause you know, like given Blackbeard versus Law, that's an intense fight. But then you throw in all the damn commanders? Is Beppo gonna go up against Jesus Burgess? I think not. <laughs> I guess it would be John Bart. John Bart would be fitting against Jesus Burgess. I'm sorry, Sachi and Penguin, but it ain't gonna happen. Drake could be following Blackbeard because of Kobe. Kobe's here somewhere. Oh, <gasps> is this the introduction to Law and Sword? Ooh. Because if anyone doesn't know, my opinion is that Law is not currently a, a part of Sword, but that he is definitely going to be. I don't think he knows about it yet. He's just been doing his own thing, but then there's gonna be something, you know, with Drake. And everything, you know, something's gonna happen. They're gonna be like, oh, well, this is actually, you know, Corazon and all that shit, you know. <laughs> and then maybe this is it, because Kobe's there. Kobe's somewhere. Kobe was with Blackbeard. That's the last we saw him. So Kobe is on that ship. Yeah, Corazon could have been a sword member, because he was like the secret, you know, he was secret ops to take down Doflamingo. So I would 100% buy that Corazon was part of S.W.O.R.D. And if Law finds that out, if he finds out that, you know, that would be like a really interesting character dynamic because Law hates the Marines. And you know, he liked Corazon, but it was like he liked Corazon despite him being a Marine. Because the Marines have just been assholes, basically, to him his entire life. 
So for him to maybe find Drake, you know, like a... They kind of had moments together. Maybe, you know, they, they share a backstory for one. So maybe him vouching for it and saying like, yeah, we know the Marines are really corrupt, but that's what we're doing. We're undercover. We're not part of the regular Marines. We're trying to stop the world government. That would be pretty enticing. And the Corazon was part of it, maybe? It's all coming together. So Drake will show up, trying to save Kobe, and then he'll say Law, save Law, and then Kobe, Law, and Drake will go happily ever after and become Sword. <laughs> and Law will join Sword and not get absolutely annihilated by Blackbeard. <laughs> <laughs> Which I, 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 for some reason, didn't talk about in my last video. I, d I did a video on law, in case you're, you know. Um, and, you know, for some reason, I didn't really talk about the sword part, but that is a heavy theory of mine, that he's going to be joining sword. Like, he currently doesn't know about it, but he's going to be joining it soon. Oh man, we don't need to talk about anything. Okay, well, let's talk about it real quick, just to get it out of the way, because I'm not going to spend much time on it, <laughs> just because I have priorities on this chapter. But the beginning of the chapter was really great. Um, we are already getting into some real issues <laughs> with the whole Kuma and Bonnie thing. Uh, the pacifista looking exactly like Kuma is definitely an issue, and Bonnie has already shown that she doesn't quite understand or has come across any of these pacifistas. Well, no, they ha she has. So she just has real she just real has real daddy issues because she watched Marine Ford and she was like I'll never forgive you blah blah blah. So she saw it on the screen because the pacifistas were being used in Marine Ford. It's very sad. I understand. Like that is like her face and stuff is very sad. And I feel I feel it. We don't need this to be a prolonged thing you know like okay have your freak out let's talk about it talk about why you know why we're feeling like this solve it and then let's move forward okay that's what I'm hoping because <laughs> that's gonna be really annoying if she like goes through <laughs> that sounds really harsh <laughs> like oh god this bitch doesn't want to beat up a fake father of hers god <laughs> but no it just it would just gonna be a annoying a little bit if it was a constant thing but that was sad and uh, so Kuma is already making a big scene here which I thought was strange because um, Raph whatever her name was and you'd think that they would know that they're intruders and so they were just like all right gotta go bye <laughs> but then police come by maybe Vegapunk called the police <laughs> that's a that's a sentence isn't it oh, Vegapunk help <laughs> I'm calling the police. <laughs> this uh, this fucking Kuma though. Mm -mm. This chapter's got me feeling a lot of different ways. I just want to point that out. <laughs> the big clash happens, and now they're fighting Kuma, and the entire island is just exploding as you do. But now we go into the important part, where Law is hot. But wait, he's always hot, and guess what? She's also hot. Inspiration for cosplay? Yes. <laughs> Imagine just trying so hard, your tits go away. <laughs> He just tried real hard, and he just grew a penis. <laughs> That's what he did. This man's hockey so strong. <laughs> he grew a dick. I'm sorry. But this fucking power... These powers of the Blackbeard Pirates are absolutely insane. And I was really excited to see the Blackbeard Pirates given all of the devil fruits that they could possibly have and obviously they can be like hand chosen or you know there's a theory that blackbeard can actually like transfer devil fruits between people so that also makes you wonder could he take a devil fruit away without them dying if law's devil fruit was taken because obviously it's a very highly sought after fruit that they would want, and I don't want him to die, obviously. If they could take the fruit, that would be really interesting to see Law without a devil fruit. Ah, so many thoughts. <laughs> but this chapter is setting up some amazing possibilities. Is it really gonna be a free-for-all? Like, it's not gonna happen. The Heart Pirates are not gonna stand up to them. This is the end game, Blackbeard. 
that's where we're gonna leave off. That's where Drake comes in and everything is going to be okay. And that is the segue to Law joining Sword. Perfect. Because Kobe's there. Kobe's there somewhere. And something's gonna happen. We're just gonna see where it goes and swear to God if this gets off screened to a major extent. Like, I don't need- well, I need. I personally do need a full fight between these two, but that's not a necessity, but I do want the majority of it. Like, I want to see how this goes down. I do not want to go to next chapter or five chapters from now and just see, like, a defeated law on the ground. I can't. But, like, we're not gonna spoil Blackbeard's abilities. Ugh. Does Luffy even have a Viver card of law? Probably not. He's not gonna know. Maybe they gave- maybe- maybe the three captains exchanged beaver cards, like, just in, I don't know. They're not friends anymore. Everything is fine. Law can handle the entire Blackbeard crew. No problem. Easy, Beppo, you just stand back. And Captain will take it from here. And it's perfectly fine. <laughs> Everything is fine. <laughs> Thanks everyone for watching. We're gonna end it there because I'm gonna just keep rambling about Law versus Blackbeard. Have a great night, evening, morning, day, wherever you are. This chapter was amazing and thank you everyone for watching. Fantastic. Fantastic, fantastic. And I 100% need some form of continuation of this next chapter because this cannot, I cannot be hanging on every page waiting for the conclusion of this. And everything's fine. Bye! Pshoo! Peppa signing out! Woo! Laws! Definitely not gonna die! Woo! Bye!